Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how can you use cnc.org program. So without any further ado, intro. Hey, welcome back here again. My name is Muhammad and in this channel, RD2 Rush, I'm uploading 15 and 30 each month or at the beginning or in the middle of the month. It's kind of whatever your preference that. I'm not uploading the last month because I was moving to another country and I'm studying now again. God, again, study again. Yep, I'm studying again. And I'm sick at the same time. So you understand the messed up now. So let me show you today how can you really use that app step by step. So let's jump to the video now. Some people may ask me why you use CNC program, not use the original game and use a game ranger and you play with it. Let's be honest, the number of player. Now the number is, you know, like 350, but I'm not joking you. At the peak time, it will be more than like 1,800 player nowadays because of, you know, this, uh, this something happening now. So what I'm telling you is, so a lot of people, they stay at home, so they play game. You understand, and we'll see a record number of players now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm just watching the world record of players every single day <laughs> so it's really just fun you know what i mean so i'm gonna explain for you step by step how this this option what it is what option is the best suitable one for you and many 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 more so let's go look at the beginning at the forums so if you check this option you're gonna pop up with something like that if you're gonna watch that is the forum for Riddler 2. You, you see from here, that's a forum for Riddler 2 Yuri Revenge. So you see all the polls here, all the groups, what they are talking. And there is a bunch of these topics. You can scroll link all day, all night. You see there's a bunch of these. It's gonna help you a lot. Look for it and enjoy it. Sign up and use an email and it's gonna be amazing for you. There's a lot of things useful here. So I highly, highly recommend you just see it and check it. If you see there's something, you can use it and you, they will give you a lot of good feedback here. And second thing, like, let's look to the options. The options, first, let's check the display. I always see the resolution here. So check which monetary resolution you have. You know, and the detail, I always prefer at high because my monitor is 1920 by 1080 and, you know, I want to hide, I, want, I don't want the game to have low quality, it's just not that strong game, it's, it's just an old game, you know what I mean? So, what about the render? Try these options, try which one, try and error, try and error, the game crashing, try another one, this one crashing, try another one. For me, it's working this one, I don't know why, I don't know. So about these couple of options, to be honest, let's be honest, I don't understand what is that couple of options. They are, you know, I installed the app and it's automatically checked. So I don't know what is the function of it. Let's be honest. And here, this option, if you have a lower performance system or your, you know, your system is lagging or slow, this one is benefit you at some point, but I don't, I'm not sure about it. You know, you can tweak your system, it's much better. So at this option, don't care about this, just check this option and leave it this at the same thing. So what about the audio? This is the music when you hear the music inside the game, you know, and the sound, you know, the sound of the unit, you know, the sound of explosion and a lot of these things here is happening. And the volume and the voice, uh, the voice volume, this one about the unit sounds, like for example, uh, Kiro reporting when the first time is coming, when the Kiro come out, there's a sound that says Kiro reporting. If you cancel this one to zero, you cannot hear it, you know what I mean? So I always check this option and leave it at the same level or leave the music just a bit a little and this couple of options more. So check whatever you want, check the shuffle music, whatever. This one is the default you know, default, default music for this program at the beginning. So for example, if I just give it a little, I don't know why it's not working for me, let's be honest, but that is the original game sound. You can hear it from here. So for me, I always check this option. You know, that that's the music where you get it at the beginning of the game. I always keep it zero. I always, I don't want to scare the first time when I open the game and the music so loud in my ears, my God, so I always keep it zero. 
always keep it the same, keep it zero. And always check these couple of options so you don't play the game and you hear the music inside the lobby. It's annoying, you know what I mean? So always make a zero, I want the game as quiet as possible. Especially when I am in the lobby or whatever, I'm talking or something. I don't want a very crazy music in the background, you know what I mean? And it's very high, you know what I mean? So after this, let's check the game. All of these, I always check it. All of it. It's default checking and you should check it. Here's the name. You want to change your name and whatever you want to do. Keep the scroll rate at the same rate. No need to make it very slow or very fast. It will not going to affect, you know? So here's the, the hotkeys. The hotkeys is awesome. Here where you can play with E section, you know what I mean? For example, let's check the team. So for example, here you can select teams. Let's hear the control. You see there is a lot of them. You can check and which one you want it. Do it, custom it on your, on your own desire or your own preferences, you know what I mean? So for example, if I want to change this one from letter T, so I say assign hotkey. So let's make it as number zero. So now it becomes number zero. And if you want to reset it, simple and easy. Just like that. And that's it. If you want to reset all of these, let's reset all of these, and that's it. And that's, we are done. If, and after you finish, save it. That's it. For me, I don't need it, so let's say cancel. So CNC, these three, all these three, if you install the game, it will be unchecked. I highly recommend check all of these three, all of it. These leave it as the same, not gonna make any significant difference. So I just leave it as it is. It's, it's preferable if you want to play with it, do whatever you want. But for me, I will always keep it checked. Don't check these because you're not playing these games. This one, I don't know why they put it here. They have no other use whatsoever. So I just leave it, you know, because you can play with, you know, the server type from inside the room. So you don't need this. Why I need it? I don't know why. Just leave it, whatever. So here's the LAN. If you play with someone in LAN, here you can find it. And the skirmish. Skirmish will be exactly the same as the original game skirmish, but here's some couple of options I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you later in the video. And you can see it's exactly the same as the normal video. You can add bots, you can, there's some features like you can spectating and you can choose teams. So I told you there is a lot of options out there. So you can see the speed is maximum speed or 60 FPS and much more units, credits, and much of these bunch of options. For me, I highly prefer these things. Let's be honest. So let's see the ladder. The ladder here, the ladder here is just showing you the game ladder. You see, there's a lot of bunch of options you see everywhere, the top players, the top, you know, everything you want, you know, want to do, you want to think about it. I told you there's a bunch of these things you can scroll and you see who's the best player. So as you can see, you see a lot of things from the top players and you see a lot of them. They are all them. So for example, this guy is on the top of the players. You see, he's the first player. So I told you there's a lot of things you can watch on it and you can enjoy a lot, a lot, a lot. Let's be honest. So here's the ladder, you can enjoy scrolling, find out everything you want. So for example, let's look here. So you see this matches is happening. So you see, let's scrolling for one of these matches. Yep, you see there's what type of unit they use, between which player and which player, what unit they use, what this one, da, 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 da. and you see a lot of what, even what unit they killed, what factory they lost and many, many more information. Let's be honest, it's fun, fun, fun. There is a bunch of this information you can find it online. It's very good information. So here, the quick match. So after you hit the quick match, we will show you this, you know, this window. If you're gonna show you the email and the password you type it, and then you're gonna access this one. Uh, for me, I'm not so a lot of players, they play on a quick match. Because do you know why there's not much player they play on it? Because they're gonna match you with a person never played before or with someone is pro, you know what I mean? So 
not a lot of people they play here, just some lazy people if they want to play here. So they can, you know, just play a very quick match without needing to check which room and which type of thing. So you can choose which side you prefer. So for example, let's say Yuri, let's say on this map and after this and after this you hit quick match, they're gonna link you with one of these players and you're gonna play. Simple and easy, just like that. So no need to further explain because I don't understand these part of settings. I don't know what it did. So I just leave it, you know what I mean. So here where you can see we play online. Oh, uh, here is the juicy part. You can play online. So the first thing I'm gonna explain for you this part in the middle. Here's where the play they get connected and disconnected and you can chat with every single one. So see here, say hi. So you see, you understand? I can talk to anybody and there is someone who will absolutely give you feedback if you need any problem because you can chat with every single one. Everyone is going to see this one. So it's really very helpful. The first time I joined online, there's a, someone out there, he helped me how to join rooms, how to understand, how to do certain things. So he really helped me a lot, let's be honest. So if any newbie join for the first time, hear chat a lot. Don't chat in these. So let me explain here, what is it? This is rooms. There is a rooms that you can join. Each one is have different. For example, this one, that's a specific type of map. That's a specific type of game match. So this one is free. Everybody can join because you can see there's no key on the side. So if there's a key, you should have, you know, the password for that room to can enter. So here, the room is the same as this room, but in lockdown mean locked. You know what I mean? If the room is locked, I mean you cannot enter. So in the sense, if I double left click, I cannot go inside. You know what I mean? But this room, if I double click inside, double click on this room, I'm gonna get inside. Or say, you know, hit this and say join a room. The same effect. So this one is exactly the same, you know, same as this room, but it's locked down, so nobody can even you know, double click it, you know what I mean? So even they are, they are playing, you know, these people. This one, they're looking for players. They're still looking for players or they're discussing or whatever is happening. So let me show you this part on the right. Here's what all the players, all of them, they are now online. So you see now online is 330, let's say. And all these players, so for example, everybody you want to talk in with, I hit double left click, and after this, you see now, I can have a place where I have to talk, and I say, you understand? So we can talk and we can, if I want to add a friend, so right click and add him to friend, just like that. And here is your friend list. For me, I don't have it because I already formatted my PC and I lost all my information. So if you have a lot of players, there will be a lot of players here, but all the message will be deleted if you just leave the game. So here's all the players. But it's exactly the same thing as here. So just do this and just choose which player and double left click and, you know, say hi. It is the same exact thing, you know what I mean? So give the same effect. So some people, they say, how can we access this? How can we access the screen? Here, the tricky part and most funniest thing. If you go above, here's where you see some information. Here's the log off, you just leave. And the option, F12, look. The information that you see, that you can access it from here, from F12, you know what I mean, from here. And here is the F4, if you hit it, you see this screen is pop up. And if you have, you know, F3, you see, that is inside this one is the lobby you know what I mean? but if you hit f2 you go to the screen the menu screen so it's amazing if you hit now f3 you're gonna return to this lobby you know what I mean? it's amazing even now for example let's uh, let me show you how can go to another game let's join one of these games let's say uh, this one have a little players so here here I can show you so for example, I want to see the normal interface, that one that I showed you before. So let's hit F3. 
and you can see exactly now you can see it if one i enter inside i want to click a double click because i forget the name of the, the lobby so for example i forget the name of the lobby and i want to enter inside how can i do it f2 see f2 you can enter inside so cool you know what i mean it's so cool and if you want to leave easily leave so easy so now so now let me show you how can you create a game how can you create a game so there is some option on the top and there's some option i forget to tell you about it some small option like the discord and forums and many 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 more if you're interested to get more deeper you know in the CNC, you know, websites, I'm gonna help you a lot. There's a lot of informative things. Just double left click, and you're gonna direct you to the right, the right page for them. So it's really very good and nice for them if to include this all of it here. Very nice. So now let me show you how can you create a game. Here's the tricky part. Let me show you how to create a game from zero. So let's create a game. Here's the first menu you can hit up. So for example, that's the name. So let's say, I'm gonna type the name. I love you all. I can name it like that. So that is the maximum number of players you can, if this, for example, if you chose this number two, only after one guy enter this room, the room will immediately lock down. The, the room will lock will not allow anybody to enter after this number. You understand? If you choose three, that you and a couple of people, they're gonna access. They're gonna get inside and get it closed. You know what I mean? The room will get closed. You know what I mean? So it's really amazing. So let's say eight. If you wanna choose a password, let's say I wanna make it one, two, three, four, five. And if anyone wants to join this room, they must type this password first this password first and then gonna access for it. And here was more advanced option before we create a game, we need to see this advanced option. So if you, from here, from here, you see the servers, which server you wanna join in, you know, because, so for example, if you are in a country where you have very high ping, like for example, in Singapore, you don't want to, you know, join a ping is so slow like this one, you know what I mean? But I told you, try and error, try and error, try and error, which one it's, you know, you see a lot of people, they join and it depends on your country, what's your internet speed. If you don't want to worry about it, just click, you know, immediately create a game and don't worry about it. But I just told you, for me, I always understand my country's internet and I always try to, re you know, just go to test, speed, uh, test uh, you know, test Wi-Fi, you know, any what any Wi-Fi test or any internet test and just look which one is the similar number to you and just hit it. So let's check this one. Let me check this one. I don't know. So let's say create. So you see now we enter the interface of you know the first game that you ever gonna do. You know what I mean? So at the beginning Let's begin from this easy part here where you can chat with everyone. Can, if there's someone gonna join, they say he's joining there. So you say, for example, if there's a lot of people, you can talk to them here. And if you know there's some players, they return from games. So they say, this person returned back from the game. This one is joined the game. This one, you know, you can't load or whatever. There is a lot, a bunch of information you can use for it. And, you know, after playing like one of two games, you can understand each one of these things. It's not that hard. You can play it and you can see. So, for example, if I lock it, it said lock the game, unlock the game. And there's a lot of these, you know, commands and things. Read it and you're going to use for it. So from here, from this part, you can see all the type of games, all the type of maps that you have on your PC. You know what I mean? So if you want to play, you have a lot of maps. So for example, for me, I don't have a lot of maps. So I go to standard and there's a lot of the map that I already downloaded, you see. Most of them, you know, normal. And if you hear the battle, you see. And some people, they say, what is the difference between these? Let's be honest. Uh, some of them, they have more features than others. I'm going to include for you uh, a full understanding of this option in the description down below. I don't understand all of them, 
but I understand the majority of them. You know what I mean? I'm gonna explain for them one by one in the description. So that I'm gonna not explain because the video is gonna take forever if I do it. So the most important thing now is battle and standard. Keep in mind, you know what I mean? If you wanna play. So let's jump to the right side. Here, for example, if you wanna choose this map, screen will be here. So for example, it's very easy. That is the name and what is the mode for it. And that is the author from here, so it's very easy. So from here, you can choose which, you know, which side, color, and which team, and which place to start. Start one or start two. So you can choose, for example, here, you can choose one. You can choose from here, or you can choose it from here in the location. Second thing, here, here's the bot. Here's, you know, nobody, easy, medium, and hard, you know what I mean? And there's probably a lot of option you can play with if you want to do it. You know what I mean? So there is a lot of things you want to do when someone is joining. And you know, you can for example, do this, do that, and you can play one versus one. You know, like, there's a lot of things. It's exactly the same as the original game. No need to explain about it. Here, some people, they ask me, what are these options for? You see now, if I hop around, I'll just keep my my cursor on top of it or my mouse click on top of it. You see there's a small explanatory for it. You know what I mean? If you don't understand all of these, you know, I'm gonna include, explain for it in the description down below. Even this, this option for it, you know what I mean? I'm gonna explain it each one. Here's the speed. I show you the same thing, the game speed. And here the money and here the unit that you begin with and it's, it's probably it and if you want to change here if you want to change the you know the tunnel you want to do this to let's say this and hit apply and that's it you want to change it now so if you want after this you lock the game you must lock the game all the time and hit launch the game and after you launch it that's it so easy you can play and have fun and if you want to leave the game leave it that's all of it. You see, so simple, so simple and easy. 